This is where we put the bodies. Wait, this is ilaw na ako. Okay. So may cube shot. Ah, ni camera. Para naging chini grabs you simulator to. Jet thrusters. Uh-huh. I'm just talking and you're if you're still watching, what the frick are you doing with your life? Okay guys, so today we'll be reviewing this Hyundai Creta 1.5 GLS IVT. So this is in the color Magnetic Silver Metallic and let's go look at it. Okay, so first we notice this full CF thing going on over here. So this is a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated SmartStream G petrol engine that produces 113 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque. So all our fluids are exposed, easy to reach over here. Our dipsticks over here. Our aircon compressor and alternator are over here in front. So madaling abutin. So that's nice. Also, look at this. So there's a welded structure that goes through your, I know. So I, I guess that's a OEM strut bar thing. Uh, yeah, so no need for strut bars. And ECU is over here and cute little battery. So I just want to point out, I noticed this. So may mga brackets siya dito to push out the fender so it looks wider. So that's interesting. I've never seen this before. Okay, now let's go through the rest of the car. As for the front, we have this parametric jewel design with hidden DRLs over here. So th these are your daytime running lights and they don't look like your daytime running lights. It just looks like one big grill. So I find that really pretty. If you're wondering where the headlights are, it's over here actually. So moving to the side, this is what it looks like. So we have 17 inch wheels over here. And it's wrapped in 215 all-wheel disc brakes, so disc brakes over here, disc brakes over there. And here from the side, we can see it's two-tones, so we have a black roof going on over there. Our side mirrors are also piano black. We have a repeater, chrome door handles. Looks really good, and I didn't notice this roof rail early on since it's also black. So when you look at it from the outside, it looks like it's bigger than it actually is as we've shown you you may perm brackets kanina to push out the fenders so also with the rear the perm fender line sort of thing is raised and it's above the rear passenger door handle so interesting design okay guys so medyo pinapawisa na ako let's move on to the rear but before we continue let's actually start the car because it's hot so this thing has remote start feature so just click lock and press the hold button Yeah, and so that's starting to cool now and it's ready for us to review the interior. So let's look at the rear muna. So off the bat, you actually notice this interesting looking taillight design. So it, it looks like a body panel. So it looks like it's separate. Okay, so we'll turn on the headlights to show you what it looks like. Brakes. So that's your brake light. And then hazard or turn signal. For your hazard return signal, this is what it looks like. So, very interesting design. So, I like the taillight shape and it's cute. I love this continuity that goes on over here to connect it to the Creta badge. Yeah, and so, X mode or something like that. And we got the shark's fin antenna over here. Cute little roof spoiler with a big third brake light. And I really appreciate how there's no fake quad or dual, dual exhaust tips just super clean okay so time to go inside and check it out but first i want to see how to do the remote window feature so let's click the unlock three times and see if it opens i know i know ah okay it opens just the driver side i can see editor sans sa loob it's open. I was waiting for the passenger side to open. <laughs> yeah, and okay, we opened it nice. Oh my god. Okay, so if you hold the unlock button, open. It open. And then if you hold lock naman, it's gonna close it. Alright. Okay, so moving on to the inside. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I locked it because I closed the window. Ah! Oh no, I forgot there's a button here! <laughs> Chaotic review! Okay, now going inside, there's this button to lock and lock in case you don't want to hold your key or whatever. So, ayan, it's cooling already. Let me show you. Wind in my hair. Kita ba? Parang hindi gaano kakita. But yeah, hinihipan na ako ng aircon. <laughs> okay, while we're here, we can look at the door. So, right off the bat, we see a two-tone thing. We have brown faux leather. We get two. We, we get a cubby holder with a bottle holder. A big bottle and a small bottle holder. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's off again. But it's cool inside. So, let's go in. Okay. Let's start the car. Lol, baka makapirate tayo dun. Na-surprise ako nung car. <laughs> okay, I just want to point out, I find that so nice. Kasi diba, this is the volume control. So, you just click the button to mute and mute. So, that's super easy. So, it's gonna be... Copyright? No copyright. Copyright? No copyright. Okay, so before anything else, it's a bit bright. So let's bring down the visor and do our makeup test. So, makakapag makeup ba ako dito? So, wala siya ilaw, but it's amply sized. Ay, hi, editor san. Ayan. So, and then we also have a card holder. So you can put your auto sweep easy trip cards over here. Okay, moving on. So this is her wheel, it's amply sized. And then we get our audio and infotainment buttons over here. We get our information and cruise control buttons over here. So I really like this dash design. So my cube sha tapos ano sha. So 0.6 times 1000 RPM. So when you step on it, whoop. So it's just a numbers moving. But if you're not into like really futuristic na dash designs, you can just go over here. It's cluster. So let's pick something more normal. This, or like this. Or you can also set this to your drive mode. Okay, so for the review sake, let's put it to link to drive mode. So depending on the drive mode, the cluster is gonna change. So pag next sport mode ka, it's gonna show you the red one. So one thing I like about this dash is the two-tone continues to the dash. Ayan, so brown interior. Really premium for the price point. We also get this 8-inch infotainment display. This has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And, and it's wireless. So, pwede ka nang, hindi mo na kailangan tong cable. I just bring it. But you don't really need it. And you don't need a charging cable also. Kasi meron siyang wireless charging pad over here. So, you can just charge your phone. Okay, so let's put this on the charging pad. There we go. Our phone is charging. Ayan. And if you need to charge other devices, we have two USB ports over here and a 12 volt cigarette lighter over here. So while your phone is charging, you know it's charging with this little icon. Climate control stuff over here. It's not dual, but it's really nice. And moving to our shifter, we still get we get the same shifter as the Stargazer, I think, or same feel. I really like that. I love the grip. You jet thruster vibes. Wow. So for this one we don't get paddle shifters, but we do get plus minus over here. Meron siya ditong drive modes and traction mode. So if you turn the knob eco, normal, sport, and smart. So I guess let's leave it in normal mode. And if I click the button again, it's gonna go to traction mode. So traction mode has snow. Mud and sand. Ayan. So, really cool. Going back, we have our parking button over here. We also have auto brake hold. And a small little cubby. I, I'm not sure if this is a key cubby, but it could be. Because it's the size niya for the key. And then our cup holders here are illuminated. So, ang cool niya when you put water bottles at night because it looks blue. And moving on to our armrest. It's over here. It's a bit small, yung compartment. But you can put stuff naman okay moving on to our glove box we have a little vent thing over here so it's a drink cooler and it keeps the glove box cool so i'm not sure if you want to put your orc or dito but you might want to put your cold water dito to keep it cool though okay now going to the rear seats let's go so right off the bat we get two 
bottle holders over here and our brown interior mixed material interior continues. Ayan, it's so easy to get in. Okay, so we got a lot of headroom and we also got a lot of legroom. Ayan, look at my knee space. And actually, super luang. So the rear recline isn't adjustable, but it's at a good angle. So okay lang. Now let's look further inside. Ah, ni camera. Para naging chini grabs yung simulator to. So this is with my normal seating position. Look at how spacious that is. And if I extend, legs super luwag pa if I extend my legs back. So that's nice. Here in the middle, we get two aircon vents and a cubby and one USB port. And what's nice about this cubby is your phone fit. So while you're charging, you can leave your phone here. We get rear seat pockets. So here's our cup holder. So standard two cups. Of course, we have our dome light. So let's move on to the rear now. Okay, let's go. This is where we put the bodies. So moving on to the rear. Again, I grabbed you again. So we get the manual tailgate. It's pretty spacious over here. So we get a full size pair steely. We have some cubbies over here, one little hook, and one small truck light. So let's see how many chinis can fit in five seater mode. Okay, I like that it doesn't have a lead, so comfy siya. So it passes my tambay. Well, oh no, can I bring this car to a tambay test? Ayan. I think one chini fits in five seater mode. Okay, let's fold the seats down this time. Okay, it's not super fold flat. We got a little ledge going on over here. But this is pretty folds flat for me already. So I think it put three to four chinis patong patong na nakahiga. Ayan, so I can move inside pa. Okay, so that's it for a walk around. Tara, drive na tayo. Let's go! 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 Manual take gate. Let's go! Okay, driving time, driving time. Okay guys, so if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and you can also follow us on our other socials. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So let's proceed with our driving impressions. So we start with their seating. So there's ample bolster and nice lumbar support. So it's firm, but like the nice kind of firm. So it's the supportive kind of firm. As for the wheel, it's amply sized and it's also tilt and telescopic adjustable. So it makes it easy for you to get that perfect driving position. As for the steering wheel, there's variable assist. So it does get heavier as you get faster. Though as a driving enthusiast, the steering feedback could be better. Wait, this is silo na ako. Okay. It's kind of muddy, but I do appreciate how effortly light the steering is, lalo na when you're going around in the city. Okay, moving on to engine and transmission. And just like our Stargazer review, the Pepe power delivery of the Hyundai Creta is brought to us by how well matched the transmission is with the engine. Even if the engine only has 117 horses, it feels like it has more. The transmission is really able to make the most out of it. Power is just right, sakta na, and I'm not really looking for anything more. Currently, Hyundai's IVT, Intelligent Variable Transmission, is one of my favorite takes on CVT. It's quick, it's responsive, and it has almost no rubber bandiness at all that you get in CVTs. Minsan nga, I forget na this is CVT, kasi it kind of feels like a standard torque converter. Though we don't get paddle shifters for this one, we do get the plus minus gear selector here. So when you have to do quick overtakes, you have this at your disposal. Ang chonky when you put it in. Oh wow, that's really chonky. <laughs> oh, the, the, the gear lever feels so nice. Jetra stairs! And yes, it shifts gears pretty quickly too. Downshift, 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 upshift. <laughs> Other than that, there are also several drive modes you can select with this knob, as we mentioned earlier. So when you twist the knob, you can select Sport, Smart, Normal, or Eco. 
So when you press the button, you can go to your traction menu. You can choose either snow, mud, or sand. As for fuel consumption, it was actually easy to determine because the Creta displays your current trip consumption. So every time you start the car, it records a new trip up until you turn it off. So since we started the review, we've done 12.1 kilometers and we are averaging at 10.4 kilometers per liter and the engine's been on for 38 minutes already. So that's information I didn't know na I wanted to know pala. So thanks for telling me, Kreta. Bilis ko pala mag-review, pa 40 minutes pa lang tayo. So, first time ko actually malam and how long it takes us to do driving impressions. So, we're gonna find out later before we end the video. I wanna check again. So, the other day we were going to Batanga, so highway driving. So, it was around 5 a.m. when we reached Eslex and we were doing 20.3 kilometers per liter, and that's not bad. And it even said the car was on for 50 minutes already. Alright, now moving on to the suspension. You know what? The true standout for me in the Creta is actually the suspension. Because usually when you say a car suspension is soft, at high speeds kasi it tends to get wallowy. So usually that's what you mean when you say it's soft. It feels like I'm just floating or not really in control. You know, vibe. But that's not the case for the Creta. It feels planted even on highway speeds. Actually, it's a bump, but I don't know if it's a bump. I bet if I was in the project car, I'd like, profanity na ako sa sakit ng bump na yun. Is it look really big pala? This thing absorbs bumps really well. Na, actually, kwento ko lang. Kasi diba, we went to Batangas nga. So, syempre, you're gonna pass through Star Tall. And you try to avoid the outside lane, diba? The slow lane. But I was really just cruising in the slow lane. And this was taking it like a champ. Actually, I feel like this gave me the bad habit na wala ko pa sa road conditions. Kasi it was taking bumps like wala lang. Sa Commonwealth, I don't change lanes na pag may lubak. Kaya naman eh. Para ako lubak hunter ngayon. Well, not really lubak hunter. More like lubak ignore. Kasi wapakels na ako. Ayun. So. And I think what also adds to the comfort. But like, don't quote me on this ha. Kasi feel ko lang. Kasi wala tayo oras to jack up and see the under chassis. But I feel like the control arm bushings are also tuned for comfort. Because sometimes when I see a lubak and I expect a jarring hit, parang ha, ano yon? Yun yun lang. Wala na, wala na ramdaman. Parang ganon yung vibe. <laughs> the suspension is not sporty, but it's proper, comfortable without it being unstable. At any speed, the suspension is stable and it feels like you're in full control. So it's confidence-inspiring. So pwede pala yun sa soft suspension. Wow. The shock absorbers are tuned very well for the soft springs. Now onto the brakes, they're actually pretty good. So once you get the pads warmed up, the brake feel and the response is quite excellent. The pedal feel is actually so good. Now you can imagine squeezing the brake pads on the disc, like squeeze. Like they imagine mo siya, ganun siya ka good new feel. Brake modulation is excellent. So overall, the Hyundai Creta is an easy car to drive. Really, really comfortable without sacrificing stability. And it's a really nice place to be in with all the modern feature comforts. Like yung phone ko, babato ko lang dito sa charging pad. Mag recharge na ako, hindi ko na kailangan ng saksakan. As well as the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The overall size of the Creta is easy to manage. So new drivers need not to worry about the size. Madali siya i-park, tapos meron ka pang backup camera. Tapos madali din siya ilusot-lusot everywhere. And it looks pretty good with its quirky futuristic styling. So, if a cool, comfortable daily roundabout is more your vibe, then maybe the Hyundai Creta GLS IBT is for you. Okay, so we do car reviews pala for about almost an hour. Yeah, and we're 55 minutes into our review. Paki video, editor san. Okay, stop time at 55 minutes. And that's it. Yan lang, stadudu. Abut ko siya, it's so compact. 